coming around on the main straightaway. 75 laps, oval racing for the final time. It's time to go from Gateway. Worldwide Technology Raceway is green. Rasmussen has the early jump. Siegel looking into the inside, trying to keep his championship hopes alive. Siegel, McElroy side by side. McElroy's gonna nose in front. Looked like Matty Brabham, three wide on the high side, coming through two, trying to take advantage of that early speed. His experience, he won here last year. He knows what it takes. Those entry point qualifying means he starts a little further back. Brabham was one of those desperately hoping there would be a chance to qualify. But instead, he has to start on intra points further back. Here's James Rowe in that blue and white Topcon car trying to get around Siegel. And Daniel Frost is going to swing around the outside. Can Frost pick up two and one? Clear. One back. Here comes Foster. Side, side, side. Oh, so close. Did they touch? They if they did touch, I saw tire smoke. Okay. And Foster is still in it. Abel hangs on to the spot. And that's the battle for seventh, and here comes Foster again. Side. And this time, he'll get it. And Louis Foster really likes to run that lane and a half up through one and two, but Jacob Abel's got the big momentum now, tries to go around the outside into three and four. It's less grip and the longer way around. Oh, that's so close. Now he's just trying to Hank, take as many points out of Christian Rasmussen. Oh. Oh. Rasmussen oh, so going close. high. It will, great hands, Christian Rasmussen, but here comes Hunter McElroy with the big momentum shift. It'll take three or four laps for those marbles to clean off of the six cars tires, and Hunter McElroy goes to the lead. Maybe like a couple of others, thinking championship. Unfortunately, it has not gone as well for him this season as there's still more traffic to deal with here for Rasmussen. And Rasmussen has gotten back around Hunter McElray using Rasmus Lind as a pick. James Rowe has brought out a yellow with contact. That looked like the exit of turn two, judging by the damage, just got up That's high. Here, if you can. We see James Rowe at the top of the screen there, kind of mid, middle of the corner, the car just takes off, a little bit understeer, gets up in the marbles, and once you're in the marbles, the car just takes off up to the wall. Back to green at green, Gateway. Green, green. And Worldwide Technology Raceway, Rasmussen with a great jump. Foster has a little bit of a run on McElray. Frost trying to work on a spot as well. Abel hoping to come through, and then Siegel almost had to lock up, almost got into the back of Abel. Hunter McRae to the inside of Christian Rasmussen into three. Side Narrow by one side one for the there. lead. Rasmussen hangs on to it. Abel trying to move forward on Frost. Frost still hanging on. Look how close they are. Talk about it being a game of inches. Look how busy Daniel Frost's hands were in that cockpit as Jacob Abel goes to the low side in one and two. Daniel Frost to the outside in three and four, trying to go the long way around. Foster, meanwhile, has gotten by McElray for second up ahead. Abel trying to come back. This is for fourth. Oh, they're so close. They Contact. touch. And they both hang on to it. Abel Double goes through. Christian Rasmussen, final corner. Rasmussen, a winner again. Number four in 23 and a major step towards IndyCar and a scholarship. Christian Rasmussen wins in St. Louis. A really poised drive by Christian Rasmussen, losing the lead, getting it back, leaving Worldwide Technology Raceway with a 50-point lead in the championship. I had, didn't want to push too much. I kind of learned that lesson in Iowa. And I think we did a great job of that today, you know, just managing the tires making sure that we had enough at the end. And uh, as you can see, I was kind of pulling away at the end. So I think we did a great job today. I'm very happy. We are uh, extending the championship lead. We're going into the last three races, brimming with confidence and uh, just, oh, I'm just happy. Watch Indy Next by Firestone at Portland International Raceway, Sunday, September 3rd on Peacock Premium.